Hello viewers, welcome to City Report. Today we are gonna explore state Washington. Let's get started. Washington officially the state of Washington is a state in the Pacific Northwest region of the Western United States. Named for George Washington, the first US president, the state was made out of the western part of the Washington Territory, which was ceded by the British Empire in 1846. In accordance with the Oregon Treaty in the settlement of the Oregon Boundary Dispute, the state which is bordered on the west by the Pacific Ocean, Oregon to the south, Idaho to the east, and the Canadian province of British Columbia to the north was admitted to the Union as the 42nd state in 1889. Olympia is the state capital. The state's largest city is Seattle. Washington is often referred to as Washington State to distinguish it from the nation's capital, Washington. D.C. Washington is the 18th largest state with an area of 71,362 square miles and the 13th most populous state with more than 7.7 .7 million people. Approximately 60% of Washington's residents live in the Seattle metropolitan area, the center of transportation, businesses and industry along Puget Sound, an inlet of the Pacific Ocean consisting of numerous islands, deep fjords and bays carved out by glaciers. The remainder of the state consists of deep temperate rainforests in the west, mountain ranges in the west, central, northeast and far southeast, and a semi-arid basin region in the east, central and south given over the intensive agriculture. The first recorded European landing on the Washington coast was by Spanish captain Don Bruno de Hisita in 1775 on board the Santiago, part of a two-ship flotilla with the Sonora. He claimed the coastal lands up to Prince William Sound for Spain as part of their claimed rights under the Treaty of Tordesillas, which they maintained made the Pacific a Spanish lake and all its shores part of the Spanish Empire. In 1778, British explorer Captain James Cook sighted Cape Lettery at the entrance to the Strait of Juan de Fuca, but Cook did not realize the strait existed. It was not discovered until Charles William Brackley, captain of the Imperial Eagle, sighted it in 1787. The straits were further explored by Spanish explorers Manuel Quimper in 1790 and Francisco de Aliza in 1791, and British explorer George Vancouver in 1792. Washington is the northwesternmost state of the contiguous United States. It borders Idaho to the east, bounded mostly by the meridian running north from the confluence of the Snake River and Clearwater River, except for the southernmost section where the border flows the Snake River. Oregon is to the south, with Columbia River forming the western part and the 46th parallel forming the eastern part of the Oregon-Washington border. During Washington's partition from Oregon, the original plan for the border followed the Columbia River east until the confluence with the Snake and then would have followed the Snake River east. This was changed in order to keep Walla Walla's fertile farmland in Washington. Let's talk about top 10 places you must visit in Washington. Number 10. Washington National Cathedral The Cathedral Church of St. Peter and St. Paul in the city of Diocese of Washington commonly known as Washington National Cathedral, in an American cathedral of the Episcopal Church. The cathedral is located in Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States. The structure is of neo-Gothic design, closely modeled on English Gothic style of the late 14th century. It is the third largest church building in the United States and the fourth tallest structure in Washington, D.C. The cathedral is the seat of both the presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church, Michael Bruce Curry, and the bishop of the Diocese of Washington, Marion Edgar Budd. Over 270,000 people visit the structure annually. The Protestant Episcopal Cathedral Foundation, under the first seven bishops of Washington, erected the cathedral under a charter passed by the United States Congress on January 6, 1893. Construction began on September 29, 1907, when the foundation stone was laid in the presence of President Theodore Roosevelt and a crowd of more than 20,000 and ended 83 years later when the final finial was placed in the presence of President George S. W. Bush in 1990. 
Decorative work such as carving and statuary is ongoing as of 2011. The foundation is the legal entity of which all institutions on the cathedral close are a part. Its corporate staff provides services for the institution to help enable their missions, conducts work of the foundation itself that is not done by the other entities, and serves as staff for the board of trustees. The cathedral stands at Massachusetts and Wisconsin Avenues in the northwest quadrant of Washington. It is an associate member of the recently organized Inter-Denominational Washington Theological Consortium. It is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. In 2007, it was ranked third on the list of America's Favorite Architecture by the American Institute of Architects. In 1792, PRL and Fence plan of the federal city specified a site for a great church for national purposes. However, he defined it as non-sectarian and non-denominational. Hamilton modified that plan and eliminated the church and several other proposed monuments, and that plan was never reproduced. Number 9. Jefferson Memorial the Jefferson Memorial is a presidential memorial built in Washington, D.C. between 1939 and 1943 under the sponsorship of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Roosevelt thought that it was a suitable memorial to the Founding Fathers of the United States and to Thomson Jefferson, the principal author of the United States Declaration of Independence and the founder of the Democratic Republican Party. The neoclassical building is situated in the West Potomac Park on the shore of the Potomac River. It was designed by John Russell Hope and built by Philadelphia contractor John McShane. Construction began in 1939 and was completed in 1943. The bronze statue of Jefferson was added in 1947. Pope made references to the Roman pantheon whose designer was Apollodorus of Damascus and to Jefferson's own design for the rotunda at the University of Virginia. The Jefferson Memorial and the White House form one of the main entry points in the area of the National Mall in D.C. The Washington Monument was intended to be located at the intersection of the White House and the site for the Jefferson Memorial but soft swampy ground required that it be suitable to the east. The National Memorial is managed by the National Park Service of Department of the Interior under its National Mall and Memorial Parks Division. In 2007, it was ranked fourth on the list of America's favorite architecture by the American Institute of Architects. It became apparent that the site was well suited for another high-profile memorial since it sat directly south of the White House. By 1901, the Senate Park Commission, better known as the Macmillan Commission, had proposed placing a pantheon-like structure on the site hosting the statues of the illustrious man of the nation, or whether the memory of some individual shall be honored by a monument of the first rank may be left to the future. No action was ever taken by Congress on this issue. The completion of the Tidal Basin Inlet Bridge in 1908 helped to facilitate the recreational usage of East and West Potomac Parks. Number 8. National Museum of Natural History the National Museum of Natural History is a natural history museum administered by the Smithsonian Institution located on the National Mall in Washington, D.C., United States. It has free admission and is open 364 days a year. In 2016, with 7.1 million visitors, it was the 11th most visited museum in the world and the most visited natural history museum in the world. Opened in 1910. The museum on the National Mall was one of the first Smithsonian buildings constructed exclusively to hold the national collections and research facilities. The main building has an overall area of 1.5 million square feet of exhibition and public space and houses over 1,000 employees. The museum's collections contain over 145 million specimens of plants, animals, fossils, minerals, rocks, meteorites, human remains, and human cultural artifacts the largest natural history collection in the world. It is also home to about 185 professional natural history scientists, the largest group of scientists dedicated to the study of natural and cultural history in the world. The United States National Museum was founded in 1846 as part of the Smithsonian Institution. The museum was initially housed in the Smithsonian Institution building, which is better known today as the Smithsonian Castle. 
a formal exhibit hall opened in 1858. The growing collection led to the construction of a new building, the National Museum Building known today as the Arts and Industries Buildings. Covering a then enormous 2.25 acres, it was built in just 15 months at a cost of $3,10,000. It opened in March 1881. Congress authorized construction of a new building on June 28, 1902. On January 29, 1903, a special committee composed of members of Congress and representatives from Smithsonian's Board of Regents published a report asking Congress to fund a much larger structure than originally planned. The Regents began considering sites for the new building in March and by April 12 settled on a site on the north side of B Street and W between 9th and 12th Streets. Number 7. National Gallery of Art the National Gallery of Art and its attached sculpture garden is a national art museum in Washington, D.C., located on the National Mall between 3rd and 9th Streets at Constitution Avenue and W. Open to the public and free of charge, the museum was privately established in 1937 for the American people by a joint resolution of the United States Congress. Andrew W. Mellon donated a substantial art collection and funds for construction. The core collection includes major works of art donated by Paul Mellon, Elsa Mellon Bruce, Leasing J. Rosenwald, Samuel Henry Chris, Rush Harrison Chris, Peter Errol Brown Widener, Joseph E. Widener, and Chester Dale. The gallery's collection of painting, drawings, prints, photographs, sculpture, medals, and decorative arts traces the development of Western art from the Middle Ages to the present including the only painting by Leonardo da Vinci in the Americas and the largest mobile created by Alexander Kelter. The gallery's campus includes the original neoclassical West building designed by John Russell Pope, which is linked underground to the modern East building designed by IMP and the 6.1 acre sculpture garden. The gallery often presents temporary special exhibitions spanning the world and the history of art. It is one of the largest museums in North America for the breadth, scope, and magnitude of its collections. The National Gallery is widely considered to be one of the largest museums in the United States of America, often ranking alongside the Metropolitan Museum of Art and Museum of Modern Art in New York City, the Art Institute of Chicago in Chicago, Illinois, and the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, Massachusetts of the top three art museums in the United States. By annual visitors, it is the only one that has no admission fee. It attracted 7,30,408 visitors in 2020, a drop of 82% from 2019 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2020, it ranked 21st on the list of most visited art museums in the world. In January 1937, Mellon formally offered to create the new gallery. On his birthday, 24th March 1937, an act of Congress accepted the collection and building funds provided through the trust and approved the construction of a museum on the National Mall. Number 6. National Air and Space Museum The National Air and Space Museum of the Smithsonian Institution, also called the Air and Space Museum, is a museum in Washington, D.C. It was established in 1946 as the National Air Museum and opened its main building on the National Mall near El Infant Plaza in 1976. In 2018, the museum saw approximately 6.2 million visitors, making it the fifth most visited museum in the world and the second most visited museum in the United States. The museum contains the Apollo 11 Command Module Columbia, the Friendship 7 capsule which was flown by John Glenn. Charles Lindbergh's Spirit of St. Louis, the Bell X-1, which broke the sound barrier, the model of the Starship Enterprise used in the science fiction television show Star Trek, the original series, and the Wright Brothers' Wright Flyer airplane near the entrance. The National Air and Space Museum is a center for research into the history and science of aviation and spaceflight, as well as planetary science and terrestrial geology and geophysics. Almost all space and aircraft on display are originals or the original backup craft. It operates an annex, the Stephen F. Edward Hazy Center at Dallas International Airport, 
which opened in 2003, encompassing 760,000 square feet. The museum conducted restoration of its collection at the Paul E. Garber Preservation, Restoration and Storage Facility in Suitland, Maryland as of 2014, while moving restoration and archival activities into the Mary Baker Engine Restoration Hangar at the Udver AZ Annex. The Air and Space Museum was originally called the National Air Museum when formed on August 12, 1946 by an act of Congress and signed into law by President Harry S. Truman. Some pieces in the National Air and Space Museum collection date back to the 1876 Centennial Exposition in Philadelphia after which the Chinese Imperial Commission donated a group of kites to the Smithsonian after Smithsonian secretary Spencer Fullerton Baird convinced exhibitors that shipping them home would be too costly. The Straitfellow steam engine intended for aircraft was added to the collection in 1989. The first piece actively acquired by the Smithsonian now in the current National Air and Space Museum collection. Number 5, the Washington Monument. The Washington Monument is an obelisk within the National Mall in Washington DC built to commemorate George Washington, once commander in chief of the Continental Army in the American Revolutionary War and the first president of the United States. Located almost due east of the reflecting pool and the Lincoln Memorial, the monument made of marble, granite, and blue stone gneiss is both the world's tallest predominantly stone structure and the world's tallest obelisk standing 554 feet tall according to the US National Geodetic Survey 555 feet tall according to the National Park Service measured 1884 it is the tallest monumental column in the world if all are measured above their pedestrian entrances overtaking the Cologne Cathedral it was the tallest structure in the world between 1884 and 1889 after which it was overtaken by the Eiffel Tower in Paris Construction of the Presidential Memorial began in 1848 and was halted for a period of 23 years from 1854 to 1877 due to the lack of funds, a struggle for control over the Washington National Monument Society, and the American Civil War. Although the stone structure was completed in 1884, internal ironwork, the knoll, and installation of the memorial stones were not completed until 1888. A difference in shading of the marble visible approximately 150 feet up shows where construction was halted and later resumed with marble from a different source. The capstone was set on December 6, 1884. The completed monument was dedicated on February 21, 1885 and officially opened October 9, 1888. The interior is occupied by iron stairs that spiral up the walls with an elevator in the center each supported by four iron columns which do not support the stone structure the stairs contain 50 sections most on the north and south walls with many long landings stretching between them along the east and west walls these landings allowed many inscribed memorial stones of various materials and sizes to be easily viewed while the stairs were accessible thus one memorial stone between stairs that is difficult to view The Pyramidion has 8 observation windows, 2 per side and 8 red aircraft warning lights, 2 per side. Number 4, the White House. The White House is a official residence and workplace of the President of the United States. It is located at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue and W in Washington DC. and has been residence of every US president since John Adams in 1800. The term White House is often used as a metonym for the president and their advisors. The residence was designed by Irish-born James Hoban in the neoclassic style. Hoban modeled the building on Leinster House in Dublin, a building which today houses the Erectus, the Irish legislature. Construction took place between 1792 and 1800 using Aquia Creek sandstone painted white. When Thomson Jefferson moved into the house in 1801, he with architect Benjamin Henry Latrobe added low colonnades on each wing that concealed stables and storage. In 1814, during the War of 1812, The mansion was set ablaze by the British army in the burning of Washington, destroying the interior and charring much of the exterior. 
Reconstruction began almost immediately and President James Monroe moved into the partially reconstructed executive residence in October 1817. Exterior construction continued with the addition of the semicircular south portico in 1824 and the north portico in 1829. A newly constructed east wing was used as a reception area for social events. Jefferson's colonnades connected the new wings. East wing alterations were completed in 1946, creating additional office space. By 1948, the residence's load-bearing exterior walls and internal wood beams were found to be close to failure. Under Harry S. Truman, the interior rooms were completely dismantled and a new internal load-bearing steel frame constructed inside the walls on the exterior, the Truman balcony was added, crowding within the executive mansion itself. President Theodore Roosevelt had all work offices relocated to the newly constructed West Wing in 1901. Number 3, Vietnam Veterans Memorial The Vietnam Veterans Memorial is a US national memorial in Washington DC honoring service member of the US armed forces who fought in the Vietnam War. The 2-acre site is dominated by a black granite wall engraved with the names of those service members who died as a result of their service in Vietnam and Southeast Asia during the war. The wall completed in 1982 has since been supplemented with the statue The Three Soldier and the Vietnam Women's Memorial. The memorial is in Constitution Gardens, adjacent to the National Mall and just northeast of the Lincoln Memorial. The memorial is maintained by the National Park Service and receives around 3 million visitors each year. The memorial wall was designed by American architect Maya Lin. In 2007, it was ranked 10th on the list of America's favorite architecture by the American Institute of Architects. As a national memorial, it is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The memorial wall is made up of 246 foot 9 inch long black granite walls polished to a high finish and etched with the names of the servicemen being honored in 140 panels of horizontal rows with regular typeface and spacing. The walls are sunken into the ground with the earth behind them. At the highest tip, the apex where they meet, they are feet high and they taper to a height of 8 inches at their extremities. Symbolically, this is described as a wound that is closed and healing and exemplifies the land art movement of the 1960s which produced sculptures that sought to reconnect with the natural environment. The stone for the 144 panels was acquired in Bangalore, India. One wall points towards the Washington Monument, the other in the direction of the Lincoln Memorial, meeting at an angle of 125 degree. Number 2 The Lincoln Memorial The Lincoln Memorial is a US national memorial built to honor the 16th president of the United States Abraham Lincoln. It is on the western end of the National Mall in Washington DC across from the Washington Monument and is in form of neoclassical temple. The memorial's architect was Henry Bacon. The designer of the memorial interiors large central statue Abraham Lincoln 1920 was Daniel Chester French. The Lincoln statue was carved by the Pisirelli brothers. The painter of the interior murals was Jules Guerin and the epitaph above the statue was written by Royal Cortesos. Dedicated in May 1922, it is one of several memorials built to honor an American president. It has always been a major tourist attraction and since the 1930s has been a symbolic center focused on race relations. The building is in the form of a Greek Doric temple and contains a large seated sculpture of Abraham Lincoln and inscriptions of two well-known speeches by Lincoln, the Gettysburg Address and his second inaugural address. The memorial has been the site of many famous speeches including Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech delivered on August 28, 1963 during the rally at the end of the march on Washington for jobs and freedom. Like other monuments on the National Mall including the nearby Vietnam Veterans Memorial, Korean War Veterans Memorial and World War II Memorial. The National Memorial is administered by the National Park Service under its National Mall and Memorial Parks Group. 
it has been listed on the National Register of Historic Places since October 15, 1966 and was ranked 7th on the American Institute of Architects 2007 list of America's favorite architecture. The memorial is open to the public 24 hours a day and more than 7 million people visit it annually. The first public memorial to United States President Abraham Lincoln in Washington DC was statue by Lord Pennery erected in front of the District of Columbia City Hall in 1868 three years after Lincoln's assassination demands for a fitting national memorial had been voiced since the time of Lincoln's death Number 1 United States Capitol and Capitol Hill The United States Capitol, often called the Capitol or the Capitol Building, is the meeting place of United States Congress and the seat of legislative branch of the US federal government. It is located on Capitol Hill at the eastern end of the National Mall in Washington DC. Though no longer at the geographic center of the federal district, the Capitol forms the origin point for the district's street numbering system and the district's four quadrants. The original building was completed in 1800. It was partially destroyed in the 1814 burning of Washington then was fully restored within 5 years the building was later enlarged with the addition of a massive dome and extended wings with expanded chambers for the bicameral legislature the house of representatives in the south wing and the senate in the north wing Like the principal buildings of the executive and judicial branches, the Capitol is built in the neoclassic style and has a white exterior. Both its east and west elevations are formally home to Congress until July 1790, when the Residence Act was passed to pave the way for a Parliament Capitol. The decision of where to locate the Capitol was contentious, but Alexander Hamilton helped broker a compromise in which the federal government would take on war debt incurred during the American Revolutionary War in exchange for support from northern states for locating the Capitol along the Potomac River. As part of the legislation, Philadelphia was chosen as a temporary capital for 10 years until December 1800, until the nation's capital in Washington DC would be ready. In reviewing L Infants Plan, Thomas Jefferson insisted the legislative building be called the Capitol rather than Congress House. The word Capitol comes from Latin and is associated with the Temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus on Capitoline Hill, one of the seven hills of Rome. The connection between the two is not clear. In addition to coming up with the city plan, L Infant had been tasked with designing the Capitol and President's House. However, he was dismissed in February 1792 over disagreements with President George Washington and the commissioners and there were no plans at that point for the capital. This was all about state Washington. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Do share with your friends and family. Thanks for watching.